let's explore one line diagrams of three phase systems. Like this one. Or alternatively, we could draw these transformers, this one and that one, with the alternative notation. But they represent exactly the same three phase power system. Three phase generator on one side, three phase generator on the far side, the three phase transformer, another three phase transformer represented only with this notation or with the one here at the bottom. Here there are, is a three phase line of impedances, another one here, another one here, there, and there. This is a three phase resistive load connected between the lines and the neutral, so it is connected in AY. Let's concentrate on the one on the bottom. Erase this one on the top that is sort of distracting the issue. Voltages and impedances are usually given in a one line diagram like this one. Let's see what those numbers represent. This is a three-phase generator. 20 kilovolts is the line-to-line -line voltage of that generator. What is the angle, that angle? Well, the convention is that angle is the neutral to phase A phase of this generator. So the neutral to phase A voltage of this other generator is negative 7 degrees in the same phase reference we used for the, the first one, which is the same one used in the entire power system. The line-to-line -line voltage of this other generator is 30 kilovolts. What about the rest? We'll see them one at a time. Let's concentrate ourselves with this part of the system. What does that signify? Well, this is a three-phase generator that we will represent that connected in a Y. We're given the line-to-line -line voltage, 20 kilovolts, the voltage across a line. But each one of these uh, neutral two phases, A, B, and C, will be only 1 over root 3 of that line voltage. So this one is 20 divided by root 3 kilovolts. What about the phases? Well, uh, this angle by convention represents the phase of the neutral to phase A voltage in that generator. So this one is 0 degrees. This would be negative 120 and negative 240 or positive 120 degrees. That takes care of this generator and of those three values. What about uh, these impedance? Well, those are in reality three inductive reactors in series with a generator connected like so. The value in ohms of each one of them is 0.1 ohms reactive, 0.1 ohms reactive, and 0.1 ohms reactive. And now we come to the transformer. Yeah, what does this mean? That is a three-phase bank of single phase transformers or a three phase transformer and that is irrelevant to us the difference let's think of them as three single phase transformers connected on the primary on the secondary in y we choose it like that it's not said i'm only assuming that because it's to our advantage in computing the power system So we have three single phase transformers, that is what that represents. Transformer X, primary and secondary, transformer Y, primary and secondary, and transformer Z or Z, primary and secondary. 
we're going to get all the three primaries x1, z1, and y1 and connect them in a y, in a star. And that is represented just by this part of our diagram. We say those primaries will be connected primary of x and uh, primary of y and primary of z and we connect them to the rest of the system like so and that is good and we have drawn already part of the diagram all the way to uh, this point what about of secondaries well we take the three secondaries x2 y2 and z2 and connect them also in a y let me erase this from here because it's cluttering the diagram and draw the secondaries here secondary of transformer x this is and then the secondary of transformer y and the secondary of transformer z but what are those voltages on top of a transformer 25 kilovolts 500 kilovolts are those the voltages on the primary and the secondary no absolutely not they are not they represent the a the transformation ratio of each one of the yy single phase transformer so each one of those units has a ratio of 20 500 divided by 25 20 a is 20 with the high side on the right hand side so you write on each one of the single phase transformers a one colon 20. We connect them in a Y and we have so far drawn all the circuit up to this point. But what about this? Well, uh, that is a three phase transmission line where each one of the phases has an impedance like that. We have that impedance in this one. When we're solving the circuit, we know that out of symmetry and balance, the voltage between those three points will be the same. So electrically, they are at the same point, and we solve only phase A, comprised by the neutral and uh, those parts of the circuits connected to phase A. That is the phase A single phase equivalent of the three phase one. We could keep going to the right and do the same to this transformer and to this generator. Uh, but uh, that is pretty much the same thing we have seen with the transformer on the left. Uh, the interesting part here is what do we do with this 15 ohm resistor over here? Well, uh, let's do that. Let's move a bit to the right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, finish the connection. What we have here are three resistors of 15 ohms connected between the three phases and neutral. Fifteen ohms, fifteen ohms, and fifteen ohms. And this one. Well, this is the same as before. 0.1 ohms, 0 0.1 ohms, and uh, 0 0.1 ohms. And uh, then the generator is uh, this one. And that is 30 kilovolts, that is line to line, that is a voltage between this point and that point. So that means this is 30 divided by root 3 kilovolts. And the phase A of that generator has a phase of negative 7 degrees. And that is the system we need to solve. 
but in reality we're going to be working only with phase A of all of that, all of this one. That is the circuit we would be solving and you know how to do that. Thank you very much.